Hi everyone, welcome to Research and Analysis. I am Dr. Kamran and in today's tutorial I am going to tell you how to run medi multiple mediation model in SPSS by using process macro. In my screen you can see this is the simple uh, mediation model that consists of IV CSR directed towards implies then there is a mediator of active commitment and we have outcome variable OCBO organizational citizenship behavior are directed towards organization. So in order to run this simple uh, mediation what we can do just let me open the data file. So this is the data file we have the variables are already been created as you can see here we can see CSR, EMP, POS, effective commitment, OCBI, OCBO but in this simple mediation model we are only using CSR, EMP, effective commitment and OCBO. If you want to see and how to create these variables, you can go on through one of my video that is specifically related to how to create variables. So what you need to do is just go to analyze. I'm sorry for these background noises. So go to analyze, then from here the regression and then process. You need to make sure that you have uh, have process macro being installed in your SPSS. If you are interested, interested to see how to install process macro, you can go on through one of my tutorial. So in order to run mediation model, just go to analyze regression and from regression, just click process macro. When you click it from here, you need to put y x and your mediators since our IV is CSR EMP and we are interested to see its impact on our OCBO and we have mediating variable effective commitment and from here you need to select model number four and in the advanced options you can click this against this one and standardize effect yes and i guess that's enough and from here you can select p is less than 0.05 which is usually we take in research of social sciences so that's it that's okay just continue and click ok when you click ok your output file will appear and then you can see the results So, so this is the output window and first you need to make sure that we have YOCBO access CSR directed towards implies and then mediating variable effective commitment and first of all you can we can see you know the impact of CSR EMP sorry, sorry and its impact on factory commitment and then we can see the impact of CSR EMP, its direct impact on OCBO, and then the impact of our mediating variable on our outcome variable, impact of factor commitment on OCBO. And from here you can see the total effect and then the total direct and indirect effects which we can uh, put these values in our tables in order to see whether our mediating uh, hypothesis is being accepted or rejected we rely on the test on the results of indirect effects and from here you can see the uh, effect size 0 0.0852 and there is in the bootstrap there is no zero so we can see that uh, the uh, uh, effective commitment actually mediate the relationship between CSR EMP and OCBO. 
So these are the results if you want to see completely standardized. So these are the, all the results that you can put in your table and based on that table, you can actually interpret your results. So this is how you can actually run simple mediation models. But what if your model is look like this? Like in this case, we have two mediating mechanisms or two mediating variables or we can see the CSR EMP is connected with OCBO through these two mechanisms of effective commitment and perceived organizational support. So what you need to do is open your data file and from here again go to analyze and then regression and from regression just click process macro and from here we need to just only need to add another mediating variable which is perceived organizational support so now our, our iv remains same same as the our output or you know dv and but it just we have added one more mediator and even the model number will remain same and this will be the same even we have more than two mediating variables that could be added here and then the option that will also remain same and what we need to do is just click OK and we will have this output window actually we need to wait a few seconds so the results will be run yes so from here you can see first of all the uh, first of all the impact of csr emp on effective commitment and you can see the this is the coefficient or the beta value and you can see the significant p value and in, in addition to p value this is the interval and you can see there is a no zero lies in this interval because if zero lies in the interval you can see the one you know a lower uh, level confidence interval or upper level confidence interval if any of value they have different signs like one is positive or one is negative so it means that there is zero in between them in that case we can uh, conclude that the relationship is insignificant but in this case you can see there there is no zero in this uh, interval so the relationship is significant and then at the second step you can see the impact of CSR EMP on our one of uh, mediating variable perceived organizational support first of all the first mediator and now we are uh, just examining the impact of CSR EMP its impact on our second variable which is second mediating variable which is perceived organizational support this is the beta value and this is the significance and the, finally the lower level confidence interval and upper level confidence interval this is results are showing that there is no zero lies in this interval and the p-value is also significant so the relationship between CSR EMP and perceived organizational support is significant and finally we have this the impact of CSR EMP on its impact on our outcome variable OCBO and this is the coefficient value as you can see it is also significant as there is no zero in this interval the then the impact of our uh, mediating variable first mediating variable its impact on OCBO and it is you can see it is also P value is significant and also there is no zero lies in the interval. However, the impact of our second um, mediator, perceived organizational support, and its impact on OCBO, you can see its value is 0 0.0915, and you can see this P value is insignificant, and also in the interval there is zero because one value is negative and the one value is positive. So the relationship between POS and OCBO is insignificant. And in order to have you know the significant impact of one mediating variable, 
it is important that the impact of your IV, its impact on your mediating variable and also the second path, the impact of mediating variable on your outcome, these both uh, paths will be significant, then actually you go for testing the mediation hypothesis because these are the mandatory conditions. And uh, um, in the next step, you will also see uh, this the impact of POS between uh, CSIMP and OCBO will also be insignificant. Well, we will uh, go further to next step and you can see again uh, the total effect, the impact of CSIMP and OCBO and just to centralize and then we can see again that all the two effect, direct effect if you have any hypothesis that is relevant with impact of our uh, IV like in this case CSR EMP and its impact on OCBO then we need to rely on this direct effect. And after that in order to examine the mediating effect of factor commitment and perceived organizational support we need to rely on these results. One time is the indirect effects and if we are interested to be focus on a standardized indirect effect then we will focus on this second uh, you know standardized uh, effects like in this case first of all you can see the when we are considering effective commitment as a mediating mechanism you can see uh, in the bootstrap uh, lower level confidence interval and bootstrap upper level confidence interval there is no zero so we can conclude that factic commitment actually mediated the relationship between CSR and CSR EMP and OCBO but in case of perceived organizational support we can see that one interval lower level confidence interval if one value is negative and upper level confidence interval its value is positive so zero lies in the interval so we can conclude that per, uh, perceived organizational support actually do not mediate the relationship between CSR EMP and OCBO. So this is how actually you can uh, examine your multiple mediation in your model by using the process macro. The method will remain same even if you have more than two mediating variables between your RV and DV. If this video will be helpful for you, please like and remember to comment. And even if you have any question regarding this uh, tutorial, you can still ask in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching.